Good morning students. Hope you are safe. I am your environment teacher. Today we are going to study chapter 12 what if it finishes. Instructions. Watch the video carefully. After watching the video, write the exercise sent in PDF in your notebook. In this chapter we are going to study types of resources renewable and non renewable resources disadvantages of using non renewable resources of energy conserving resources and reducing pollution here in this picture you can see congestion on road congestion means traffic lot of traffic means traffic jam on road these vehicles they use different fuels to run as our body needs food to grow and work in the same way these vehicles need fuels these fuels are petrol diesel hydropower electricity when they use such fuels they also emit smoke and pollute the air we face many problems with increasing vehicles due to smoke coming off from vehicles air pollution is caused and resulting in lung disease like asthma when there is traffic jam and we are stuck in traffic there is lot of smoke and we feel suffocated or we feel uh, we has a we Uh, have problem in breathing so this is the reason due to honking honking means noise of horns that the vehicles are producing D due to that noise pollution is caused which is dangerous for old people and patients in hospital due to increasing vehicles there is increase in number of road accidents also see in the picture every now and then we are hearing that this accident has taken place and these many people have died fuels used to run these vehicles are obtained from nature let's see resources which are obtained from nature are known as natural resources some of the examples are wind coal water oil sun natural gas there are two types of resources available in nature renewable sources of energy and non renewable sources of energy let us see what are renewable sources of energy the type of sources of energy which will never run out and are replenished naturally are known as renewable sources of energy that is replenished means formed these are formed or produced naturally we don't go there and produce so these are the natural resources which are renewable let's see the example hydropower means energy generated from water wind energy energy generated by the help of windmills and one more important energy is solar energy that we get from sun sun rays sun rays are used to produce solar energy and due to that solar car solar watch solar lamp solar cooker they can work and nowadays all people are shifting to solar energy as it is inexhaustible do you know children renewable sources of energy are also referred as clean energy means they do not produce pollution now re non renewable sources of energy the type of sources of energy which will run out that will finish and will take millions of years for its replenishment are known as 
non renewable sources of energy to produce them or for formation of them millions of years takes place and that's why they are called non renewable sources of energy they are going to be exhausted or finished or khatam hone wale hain examples are coal petroleum natural gas now there is a difference between renewable sources of energy and non renewable sources of energy let us see renewable sources of energy are available in plenty you can see wind energy is available solar energy is available hydro power is also available in plenty whereas non renewable resources are not available in plenty whatever we are having and we are using it so it will get finished or over renewable sources of energy are eco friendly they are not harmful whereas non renewable are non eco friendly you can see when smoke is emitted it is harmful to us renewable sources of energy are cheap means sasta hai kam paise lagte aur non renewable resources are expensive nowadays you can see that the rate of petrol diesel gas everything is increasing day by day so they are expensive now let us see what is petroleum petroleum is an oil that is found underground we cannot produce it it is found underground here petroleum word is there in that petra means rock and oleum means oil petroleum is a mixture of many substances like petrol diesel kerosene paraffin wax etc we can get many substances like that from petroleum and petroleum is also known as black gold do you know this why it is called because of its color and it is expensive cost and its valuable properties it is used in vast areas so it is called black gold now what are the petroleum products let us see adhesives means whatever sticking things like fevicol and all you are using that are adhesives carpeting you have seen carpets then cosmetics cosmetics includes all lipstick eyeliner and different different beauty products fertilizers sprayed in the fields and farms paints rubber used for making tires fabrics used for making clothes and plastic these are all petroleum products now let us see how is petroleum formed petroleum is formed from the remains of dead plant and animals deep in the oceans you can see in this picture first picture all the animals and dead plants are there which have died and they settled down on the base of the ocean and over time these animals or these remains they are covered with layer of silt and sand if we go out for one day so you can see that cleaned house is also having some dust in the same way in ocean also these dead animals when they settle down at the bottom of the ocean they are covered with silt and sand after over millions of years not year, uh, thousands but millions of years due to extreme heat and pressure they are converted into oil and natural gas we take out petroleum by drilling and mining in india ongc oil and natural gas corporation they are doing this work of drilling and mining the natural oil or petroleum now there is a question why should we save petrol we all know that renewable sources of energy they are going to exhaust one day so there is a need to save petrol 
we have very limited fuel available on earth because they need, they take millions of years for formation and we are using it haphazardly they take millions of years for their replenishment or formation or production our demand for energy is increasing day by day you must have seen every member in a family owns a vehicle so all of them are using their own vehicle so energy required is more and it is increasing day by day one day all renewable resources will run out and we will have to switch over to renewable sources so instead of that condition to come let us switch on to renewable resources and when we use non renewable resources you have seen that it pollutes the environment and it harms the environment and if we save the petrol we are going to save the environment also there are different ways to save petrol how can we do it let us see some points or some ways use of public transport like bus or metro instead of using private vehicles we can use bus or metro encourage car pooling what do you mean by encourage car pooling encourage car pooling means that if a person from the same flat is going to the same area of work and other five people they are also going to the same area they can go in one car they can share a car or if instead of taking separate separate vehicles in this way they can save petrol and when we do servicing of vehicles at regular intervals it also uses less petrol and gives a good average so petrol is saved even the tires pressure the air in the tire it should be checked at regular intervals we should switch on to electric powered vehicles nowadays electric cycles then cars then scooters all these vehicles are available so slowly slowly people are shifting to that and in this way we can save petrol and whenever we are standing or we are waiting for the red signal to go that time at the cross roads we have to switch off or turn off the vehicle on the red signal at the traffic light if we are waiting for 200 seconds then it will consume petrol and petrol will be wasted instead of that you have to turn on of the engine there are other sources for energy also people of india almost two third of the population of india they use cow dung dried cow dung they are called upple and dry wood they are gathering from the forest for cooking food or many other purpose and they are uh, they also heat this they use this uh, upple and dried wood to get warmth in winter season also so people those poor people those who are not having enough money to buy other fuels they use such things sometimes during rainy season when they get damp wood and they are burning it a lot of smoke is emitted and this spoils their health causing diseases like asthma other lung diseases also are caused when dump when damp wood is burnt it creates a lot of smoke a uh, one reminder i i hope that you have understood the chapter after watching the video you have to write the exercise in your notebook and you have to mail the pictures on the following ids email ids thank you